I'm Jay Burkhart, Superintendent of Schools for the East Pennsboro Area School District. We are on the west shore of the Susquehanna River, directly across from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, our state capital. We fluctuate between 2,700 and 2,800 students. We were a district that was struggling with the same things that most other districts were. How do we meet the needs of a changing population? How do we meet the needs of a growing population in special needs? How do we take our budgetary dollars that are there for your traditional school, your textbooks, your things that really, I don't want to say becoming outdated, but they kind of are. And how do we transfer that money into better use to better meet the dynamic changing needs of our students? When I started here in 2013, we were not doing any sort of online digital curriculum. We were actually presented with a grant through our local intermediate unit for planning and research of blended learning. At that point, we jumped in, we brought a team together. We started to ask ourselves some questions about, you know, what we wanted our student experience to be like here in the school district. And we kept coming back to the idea of personalization. And and you know when we when we say we want to do that for kids, um, it's not easy when you have class sizes of 30 and 35 students. And you know we find ourselves, uh, although we don't want to, we teach to the middle. You know the the high flying kids are often held back from moving on, and uh, you know our low level kids continue to struggle without getting the supports and, and interventions that they need uh, because they're moving at too quick of a pace. So keeping all of those things in mind, uh, we we had to say to ourselves, what model could we set up? Uh, in our middle school that would help us kind of meet the needs of all learners. We explored, we didn't try to find the answer ourselves. We went out and saw, hey, what are other successful schools doing? And had the opportunity to go all over the country and look at schools. We had to take the best ideas of all the different schools we visited and combine them into what would work best here at, at East Pennsboro. So our model is a flex rotation model with one pilot team, 100 students, four teachers plus a special ed teacher on the team. And next year our plan is to move to a seventh and eighth grade model. We have students in online learning labs. We have students that are doing project-based learning, really getting into application-based learning. And then we also have students that are getting remediation and enrichment based on the data of the online content provider. One of the most critical components was the grassroots effort and involving the teachers. And we selected a seventh grade team of teachers that we felt were the best suited through this process and most ready for this what I call revolutionary type of learning. Our role as the teacher in the um, personalized learning environment is really different because we have decided that our goal is going to be not just blending the student experience, but personalizing it. For a long time, teaching felt very repetitive where we would have a lesson that we need to teach everybody and do the same thing sort of six times a day. And now things change really quickly because kids are working at their own pace and they are delving into some of their own interests based on the curriculum. They go further and deeper than they ever have before. There's a lot of good things, but the best part is probably that I don't have to sit in a classroom and listen to the teacher talk all day. I can listen to that and learn the material at some part, and then at the other part I get to do fun activities and projects and expand on that topic. Anyone can stand and read from a textbook, but to really get to know the students and what their needs are, what they need to be able to grow, has really been a big difference for this year. For some kids, the beauty of it has been that they can't hide in our classrooms anymore. Every kid is involved in every lesson, answering every question, and when they're um, with us face to face, we have a really clear picture of what they know, what they're struggling with, things like that. And that's been hard for some kids to accept. They're having to work harder than they ever have before. Being able to teach habits of success and habits of mind, getting them to persevere and become problem solvers and critical thinkers, that's been such a byproduct of personalized learning that we're really excited to see growing in our kids. I've done more fun things in this school year so far than I have done in the past years. Like I've had more projects than I have ever had before. So it's a lot more fun to, be, to do school this way than the traditional way. I think I've seen our teachers grow more in the last 12 weeks than they may have grown in their entire professional career to this point. And I'm also seeing students being pushed and stretched to their limits 
uh, more so than we've ever been able to see before too. And we definitely credit that to not only the Edgenuity software and the rigor that's found within that software, uh, but also in the model itself and the ability to leverage that technology to create the small groups with teachers. As I walk around just to see the excitement and the enthusiasm of the students and their learning, it's phenomenal to see the way the kids are learning here in our school. It is about kids in East Pennsboro, and I think that's what probably makes, not probably, that is what makes us one of the best schools around. I have all the confidence in the world in that statement.